Mercedes-Benz NB Turbo MX-5 Drift Car. One of, if not the only, grassroots competitive MX-5 drifter in Australia. Although this is a fairly mildly built car, it has been on the drift scene for a good 10 years now. The car is built to do one thing, get the ass out and make some smoke happen. It's running a mostly standard engine, although with some upgraded con rods and a DIY turbo setup with around 200 or so kilowatts at the rear wheels and some DIY suspension mods to get the suspension geometry just right for hanging the ass out around the corner at insanely fast speeds. But let's take a little tour inside, hey? It's tight in here. My head does not fit. It's not made for over six foot. It's definitely an adventure though. He's got his dollies. His robot mate. A boss can shift knob. Handbrake. Some sunnies. His uh, mascot. Some sort of defy gauge. What is that? Boost gauge, I think. A couple of gauges here, probably for uh, oil and coolant temps. I think it's a DIY cage he built himself. He's pretty good at that sort of thing. And some switches. It's all uh, pretty normal. A light year hard top, carbon fiber one. Built about 10 years ago, that roof, so it's um, it's had a hard yard being on a drift car, it's been hit, it's uh, had pizza boxes left on top of it. It's, yeah, that's the top of the S15 Trans. It's a thrilling place to sit. This particular event is a Vic Drift competition day, which means there's actual competitive drifting going on. There's a lot of entries around, 65 or so cars competing today, which is quite a lot for uh, this type of event. But lucky for me, I get to go for a ride in the passenger seat for a few practice laps before they start to do their qualifying sessions. This is something I've never had the opportunity to do before. I've never been inside a drift car. Uh, so this is gonna be fun, I have no doubt. And as always, I brought the cameras along, so hopefully we can catch some good footage.
straightforward. I forgot to speak. Yeah, yeah. 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 sitting around isn't it? Yeah look, at least I gave you some entertainment in between. That's a comp day. Yeah. And it's That's pretty busy. Day. Yeah it's like, it's only because there's so many cars like you see out there. For yeah. 30 cars in that group for yeah. Waiting for a go. Yeah. Oh my god. Excellent though. Still. Yeah the only uh, MX-5 drifter regular that I know in Australia so. Yeah. I'm surprised like more guys don't. Uh, it is cheap, it's so cheap. Well, I'd say it's good. People ask me, right? it's just cheap. Yeah. It's cheap. It's like, just you like you'll have one of those, you'll drop 20k in a year, easy. Yeah. Just not driving. On yeah, just the in, bits. A, in a Sylvia and bits for it. Yeah, just yeah. keeping it going, you'll blow a box. Yeah. Whatever, it's just bits, expensive. I mean, everything's everything's that much bigger and more expensive. Shitty tires are probably better for transmissions like my, my car, because i got so much grip, you're more likely to burn for a to blow trans. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than this, where you yeah. just. So I can get away with a single plate clutch. Yeah. Whereas any I can still. This, on under grip, you'd want a twin. Yeah, you probably got it. Yeah. There has been times where it's slipped, like I've gone six gear and tried to throw a scanner. Oh, yeah. She's down the back and it's gone. <laughs> it's gone, and I've gone. Uh oh. Yeah, right. yeah. But yeah, like. So that's that's cheap. Whereas one of those, you, a Skylar motor bucks straight in, make 300 kilowatts in your twin plate. And yeah. there you go. That's two grand. With the practice out of the way, Wozman manages to qualify for the top 32. That means it's time for some real door-to-door -door drift action. Second run, Julia to lead, Warwick Fitzgerald in the MX-5. 
Will and Batista pushing nice and wide there. Warren able to close the gap pretty quickly. And MX5 Turbo hooking through there. Warwick just going the lead. runs against the black 180SX, Wozman makes it through to the second round. For the second round, he has an excellent lead run against the red skyline, pulling a really nice line and managing to get a bit of a run away from the skyline. Unfortunately for his chase against the skyline, he puts just too many wheels in the dirt coming into the second corner, which effectively results in him losing against the skyline and being knocked out of competition. Nonetheless, he put on an awesome show. It's a great little car, and it's awesome to see this thing still going around the tracks even after some 10 years of drifting here in Australia. As you would have seen, the thing's pretty well beat, but he continues to muscle on, and despite the dents in the bodywork, it's still an awesome little drift car. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.
We'll be right back.